so the Holy Spirit has me partaking in this parade and I've received a few donations and, and yeah once again God is showing me that he's, he has the people here just as he did in 2016 when he brought me to worship inside the temple in that upper room where we we're invoking the name of God and I was allowed I was allowed to be there to invoke the name Jesus Christ and my escort sitting next to me was in tears after it was all done after that hour had expired <laughs> isn't that something it was it was an hour an hour of invoking and worshiping the Lord Jesus Christ in the sick temple and uh, the member the sick of the sick religion next to me was in tears that he felt he felt God he felt the Holy Spirit Jesus Christ you want to drink? oh uh, sure thank you thank you thank you brother Uh, I, I can, yeah, I can. Uh, I've, uh, I've, I've, I'm making, making a lot of friends here, and uh, they've, been, they're inviting me here. That's fine, but I need you to get off of the road and on, on to the boulevard, please. Okay. Thank you. Oh, you heard that. I just got ordered from the, the police officers to uh, get off the road, so thank you. Thank you. It was in 2016. In 2016, uh, when I went to the parade in 2016, the same parade, uh, God the Father spoke to me and he said to accept whatever is offered to you. And that is uh, not to, uh, I guess, not to offend them. I think that's really what it's about, what, what he was referring to. Spirit has revealed that there is a revival happening here. Everyone who is in agreement with the cross, he is blessing. 100%. The Holy Spirit is here. I feel the Holy Spirit all over me. Once again, I heard, I heard, I'm sure I heard these children at one point, they were chanting Jesus. They're chanting the name Jesus. You know, the kids are, are innocent and they chant full-heartedly. God knows all hearts. He blesses them. Here it is. Listen to this. Here, listen. They said, Jesus. This is the mosque where I minister to. We're walking right past the mosque that I, I've been ministering in this mosque for possibly, well, around six years, possibly more. And they were standing outside 
watching the parade. And uh, here I am marching with them, walking by. And, and no doubt they noticed me and I, I waved at them and they waved back at me. And I know they're uh, certainly uh, contemplating things in their mind. It's a very moderate religion, that specific Muslim um, denomination. It's the most moderate, I think, in the world. And their, um, their motto is uh, love for all, hatred for none. So, you know, God is doing some amazing works here. He is certainly expanding His salvation, bringing all nations into His blessings, all those who acknowledge the true love of the cross of Christ. That's very interesting. They're sounding a, a trumpet and they're spraying holy water, looks like holy water on the pavement to um, anoint the feet of those that are marching with swords. They're holy warriors.
brother I was I'm hungry too that's thank you that's a real blessing God bless you a donation from a from a little brother it's the spirit of the Lord Jesus Christ moving that child's heart And they cultivate a crop. They they eat from their own crop. That's the job then. Right, but I also have a job. We all I have a job as a minister of Christ. So I mean, the sign would be better if it said, I'm like you know the money's going to me. So maybe well, I, I give to the homeless also. So like the money that's going in your pocket is coming out of the money from other people that are donating to that person. That's what donations are for. People who want to support. People like to donate. People, people want donate? to support. If it's in it. That's what I'm saying. That's right, and the, and I have to support the cause. But they don't I have a responsibility to support the cause. That's right, but I am part of the foundation. I'm the owner of the foundation. So if I'm if I'm hungry, do I am I not going to be able to get something for for, for food to sustain myself? For some the donation. That seems a little wrong to me. That's what donations are all about. And they are to disperse. Donations? Pardon? You got any donations? Yeah, I got quite a few. Yeah, there's, uh, you see, the, the love of the cross, the Spirit of God, is going to bless the people in their nation as, 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 when, they, when they acknowledge the, the love, just the, the love of God. And, and people donate to that cause. Because it's, it's the same spirit of, of the cross of Christ. It's, it's amazing how God is using salvation. God is. God is looking for pure worshipers, worshipers that just give directly, you know, through let of Him, you know, without anything in, in, interference, pure worship, and He blesses them. You know, it doesn't matter what religion, you know, is, He's working worldwide salvation. But we have to just love each other. That's, his, that's, his, that's what He has us doing in the spirit of, of God. Have you gotten mad at you today? Um, I had one one person was upset, but I blessed him. You know, um, he was uh, because you know he's, he, it's not it's not what they preach here, so he was upset at that. But uh, uh, other than him and these youngsters, it's been really positive, very positive. So there's been a lot more approval, you know, that's manifested yeah. than uh, disapproval. That's for sure. Yeah. Yeah, no, that's good. It's good to know. It's a good point of interest. And that that's what I'm here too. I'm learning and I'm you know, it's a point of interest. It's very, very interesting. How things are going, you know? What how God is moving. 
convert people or annoy people? Be honest. Well, uh, no, I'm not trying to annoy people. Have um, you converted anybody? Uh, oh, yeah. I, this ministry has converted people. No, uh, I mean like today. No, I, I'm not that I've experienced. Yeah. I haven't experienced, but I've, I, I have experienced so people deep, being, yeah. I have had experience, yeah, be, uh, people being blessed through this ministry. But uh, as far as full conversion, you know, born again in the Holy Spirit, I haven't uh, witnessed that here today. It's, it's not, uh, you know, there's different right. levels of receiving right. blessings. Well, this is what it, this is. Well, it's useful for God. I can't. God does. Well, He does use people. Yeah, sometimes. Yeah, you can't put God in a box. He'll He'll, he'll baptize directly. He'll baptize through humanity, right? You can't. Guys are already pretty set in their ways. I mean, look at their Yeah. They all got it on, right? Yeah, we're at the end of the earth, but uh, there's still conversions the happening. Well, God, I think we got another two grounds left. Well, you know, we have to wait and see. Yeah, we do. We have to wait and see. Sure. You know, we're gonna have to get these. We, we all. It's gonna last that long. Yeah, well, so certainly. You're about to go, you hit one rock, fuck. Yeah, well, you know, grace. The last day, right? Grace of God, you know. The old popple doodle. I can only hope for the blessings of God. Yeah, that's my hope. Too. Yeah, just to get blessed of God, that's my hope. You know, that's what I need. That's what we all need. Stand the love, for. the true love of Christ. Stand you know? for. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, that's what. Well, uh, yeah, I might. I, I, they, they invited me in 2016. They invited me in, and I actually uh, worshipped with them in the temple. Right on. Yeah, and yeah. so we had a, a, a real amazing time in 2016. Cool. Yeah, yeah, we invoked. Uh, you just park the bike and yeah. go for a ride and I go down with the guys on the hill. Uh, yeah. I, I would. Uh, just let the Holy Spirit lead wherever He wants me to go. If yeah, if He wants me in there, I'll I'll uh, I'll go in there. There's I have friends there, you know. So we'll check them out. And I, I've been invited to uh, to partake. Yeah, go for it. So let's we'll no, see, no see how. Uh, the park, so. Pardon? No vehicles inside the park. We're gonna have to leave down here. No. Once again, it's a command center. They, uh, they have high, uh, also uh, have a helicopter advertising the event. I don't know if you, I'm aiming that properly. Look at all the people in there. Lots of people. Amen. Amen. Jesus is the Lord. Yes, yes, sister. Yeah, he's a good. He's good. Yeah, he is. Lord of lords and kings of kings. Thank you for preaching. Thank you. My pleasure is. Uh, a uh, real experience being here. Yeah, that's nice. You know? Yeah. Which church are you from? Uh, I'm of the way. It's a disciple ministry of Christ. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah. So, they, uh, disciples call themselves the way. That's right. 
in Acts, yeah, they were called the way because the Lord always used to say, I'm the way. I'm the way. Yeah. I'm the one. I'm the good shepherd. I'm the door. I'm the way of life. That's right. Yeah, and so they called themselves the way. Yes. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, God is good. He's, Amen. He's doing a lot of work here. He's blessing a lot of people. I've noticed that He's blessing yeah. the people. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. So that's that's the, that's, that's the hope. Yeah. What yeah. is your name? Marco. Marco. Yeah, Marco. 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 Okay. Yeah. Nice to meet you, Marco. Nice to meet you. So are you uh, a member of the no, community no, no, or no. you just, just come came to observe? Some friends, yeah, they said they come and have uh, just see fellowship like that. So we just, yeah. 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 That's good. Yeah. It's, it's good to uh, to experience and to yeah, be, be uh, in the midst of, of uh, the uh, eventful happenings. That's know? good thing. Yeah, God's in our midst. Yeah, I think this bread is coming, so you have oh. to be in the side because the police is taking care of this bread now. Oh, what's happening? Uh, the bread is coming. This is for the oh. Vaishakhi going on. Oh, I see. So, yeah, this is a festival from India. This one? Yes. Yeah. This is the festival. All we are Indians here. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh, okay, I yeah. understand. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you. God bless you. So I just had a really, really good encounter with uh, those, uh, with the sick, you know, the ones that wear the black um, outfits. And uh, we spoke regarding the love of Jesus. They, they approached me. They wanted to know. And, uh, you know, it was amazing. We didn't pray. We didn't get to that stage. But um, the Holy Spirit really opened up their hearts. They were younger. And, you know, you can see the way they, they believe. They have a very... Um, you know, ev everyone is secure in their religions. And uh, uh, some, you know, some more than others. And it's just... You, you can see that spirit of, uh, you know, of, of, of not, ex uh, you know, wanting to extend past their belief system. And, but uh, it was really, really fruitful. We left in good terms and uh, as brothers and friends, I hope. And, uh, you know, we, it made sense to them regarding, you know, the invocation of God. And uh, they were asking, they said that there was someone holding a sign that says, Jesus hates me. And uh, I had to explain to them regarding how he loves the soul, hates the sin. And, and then uh, they were getting, you know, one was getting wise and said he loves me more than Jesus and I said that's idolatry and the other person shook my hand he said that's a good answer you know because we can't put God a man ahead of God and I said I can't accept that because he, he, he said again I love you more than Jesus I said I cannot accept that because if I, if I accept that I'm going to be in a lot of trouble with God because I'll be the one you know accepting the glory and putting myself in the place of God so the discussion went uh, really well and uh, I hope that they're blessed I just, uh, uh, pray and ask God to give me the wisdom to minister properly accordingly, not what I want them to hear, but what God wants them to hear. And God will bless them. I told them, if, if you just seek God, ask Him regarding the cross, ask Him regarding the love of God, ask Him to show you and seek Him diligently and really seek Him with all your heart, in sincerity and truth that God will bless you. He will bless you. He will bless you today. And so I hope they take that uh, that challenge. It's not really, it wasn't a challenge, it was just advice. Or, you know, it was counsel. And so uh, I hope they respond positively to, positively to that and God will bless them. Okay. God bless you. could have done this today, really? This is the best day for this because... Why is that? People are trying to celebrate their religion. You obviously know there's no Christians there. And you have like the audacity to be like marching us around. I made friends. I did. You know, Jesus Jesus wants us to accept his love. His love is for all nations. That we love each other. That's the love of the cross. Pardon? That was him. He should have been stopped here by now. Uh, 
uh, with someone else. There they are. I think that's them there. Hi brother, how are you? How are you? Good, good. Yeah, I just seen uh, your uh, mm -hmm. speech, uh, so I need to, I need to ask you a question. Of you. course. Yeah. More than happy to answer your questions. Okay. What would you ask? Yeah, yeah you find this Jesus is the way. Yes. Yes, Jesus died for you. Jesus is the truth, and Jesus is the life. Right. So I want to have a question, but Jesus died for you, though. Yes. So uh, mm -hmm. Christian basically that Jesus is God, right? Manifested in the flesh. That's right. Yeah, yeah. The finger of God, the branch. He is the one that came out of the bosom of the Father. Okay. Let me explain this. I'll show this to you. Okay, this is what the Bible says. Yeah. I'm going to give you an example, yeah. a visual example. Okay, the Bible so says. Don't go Bible, what the Bible says. Well, the Bible yeah. pr proves itself to be true. Yeah. And let's say, for example, this is the Father. Okay, let's say this is Almighty God. Okay, it's not, but let's say this is Almighty God. Yeah. Okay, this is Jesus. Yeah. Come to earth. That's the Bible. He came out of the bosom of the Father. Okay. He is the finger of God. He is part of the part of God but that came God. down to live with humanity. But he's not God. Well, this is this is the Father. This is the Father, and this is the Father. So he he incarnated himself. The Father came to Earth. He incarnated Father. himself. He incarnated like he through humanity. He he he, he made he himself. Incarnated himself through from a God to humanity. Did he lose his part of God? Like his Godness? Did he lose no. no. But what he did do is he put himself in the same nature as us. So when he was walking in and on the earth, he was a hundred percent without blemish and he was um, a hundred percent human. A hundred percent God, a hundred percent human. A hundred percent God Inside humanity, yes. So he was 100% God, 100% human. Yeah, 100%. Okay, did he have all the knowledge that God has as humanity? He did he have the all He had access to it, yes. Yeah. Access. Yeah. Access to it. He had access. Did he know that when is the last hour? Did he know the the, the last hour when they asked him about the hour? What did he say? The last hour? Uh, the last hour in the Bible, what it means is that it says this is the last hour. One, an hour in the Bible also means that everything is being done at the exact same time. Now, so I'll talk about when they ask him about like the end of the world. Yeah. Last hour. Yes. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. There, yes. When they ask him, what did yeah. he reply? What did he say? Well, he he uh, what he said is he said, don't be deceived, yeah. for many false Christs will come in my name and they will lead many astray. And there will be earthquakes and famines in diverse areas. Uh, there will be pestilences. There will didn't, be... Didn't he say that uh, no one knows the hour except, except God? Except the, Father. except the Father. Right. And what he also said is nobody knows the, the Father except the Son, and nobody knows the, uh, the, the Son except the Father, and nobody knows the Father except the Son, and all, all those to whom the Son desires to reveal the Father to. So what, what, what Jesus is saying, he's saying that the Father is greater than I am, because I'm here in a, in a flesh. I walk, he, he's walking in the third person, he's walking um, as a human being, 
for our example. He said, I've set before you an example as how you should live your life. So the Bible says that God, He came in the flesh as an example. He is the bar of what we are to be. He put Himself in the sh same shoes as humanity. Okay, I want to understand because, about... Uh, because God... Can I understand about the Trinity? Because He's sure. in uh, the Father, the Son, and the uh, Holy Spirit. Or Holy? The Holy Spirit, that's Holy right. Spirit, right? Yeah. So all three are one. Can you explain yes. to me all those three are one? Okay, it's very simple. Very simple. Humanity is made out of three parts. Flesh, soul, and spirit. Flesh, soul, soul and spirit. spirit. Okay? But the soul is not the spirit. The spirit is not the flesh. Flesh is not the soul. Yeah, they're separate. Separate yeah. entities. And, uh, separate. God, it makes father, up one being. The father is not the son. The son is not the father. And the father is not the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is not the father. No, that's, all that's not what he's different. saying. They're the same. What, what it is... You can bring that example on that to explain on... Uh, like flesh and a uh, human. Well, I'm not done explaining. Because yeah. when, when you separate them, they can be, each one can be like you. Like you, you spirit, and uh, flesh, yeah. body. And, yeah. But your, when your and body only... Physical body. Physical body, that's not you. To be you, it has to be flesh, body, spirit, then that's you. That's right? one being. That's one being. Exactly. Okay, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. The Father has fully knowledge the yeah. whole power fully power all knowledge right right the son does he have all the knowledge that father has he has access he when he was walking on the earth does, he, he no, has the access question is, does he have the father the son does he have the knowledge of the father yes he has does the knowledge he, have, he has does, knowledge of the father yes he has the same knowledge that the father has the same power that the he father says has. me and my father are one yeah yeah, the same thing that he says, you, if you follow me, you, and the disciples are one. Disciples and uh, Jesus to be one. We're supposed to be one, one. together. Yeah, it's not, it's not going to make you God, right? No. When uh, he no. says, me and Father are one, it doesn't mean like one as a, as a God, God as like no, there's God one. sheep one. It no. doesn't mean that. God doesn't give his glory to nobody. Yeah, so the right? Father, he has all power, all knowledge, everything. The Son, he don't have all the knowledge. That's right. He wasn't ac he, but he has the access to it. But when he, when we he ask, wasn't given when the all the knowledge, but he has access to it. The disciples asked him, but I always said, no one knows. Not the Holy Spirit, not the Son, nobody else. Only the Father. That's right. So is the Father in that case? Is the Father? Is he more God than the Son and the Holy Spirit? The Father? Yeah. Wh when Jesus walked the earth, okay. He walked the earth as an example of how we're supposed to walk. So what he said is that I can do nothing unless the Father reveals it to me. Yeah. The Son can do nothing without the Father. So what Jesus, what the Father did, He came in the flesh for us to be an example of how we're supposed to live. He put Himself in the same situation that He put us in. You understand? Okay. Well, so you can't call God a hypocrite, you know what I'm saying? You can't say, well, God, you never lived the way we did. You understand? Okay. So he, he's but cornering the entire market. God, Jesus never said, I'm God, right? Yes, he, he didn't, did. He didn't say... Yes, he did. Like, he did say that, I'm God, works yes. to me? Yes, did he say that? Yes. Where did he say that? He said that in Revelation. Where, can you pull up that? In Revelation, yeah. uh, chapter chapter 1, verse 8, uh, says, um, I am the Alpha and the Omega, says the Lord God, who is and who was and who is to come, the Almighty. These are the words of Jesus speaking regarding himself. What did he say? He said, I am the Alpha and the Omega, says the Lord God, who is and was and he and, and who is to come, the Almighty. That's Jesus Christ speaking about himself, regarding himself. So he's saying that he is the Alpha and the Omega, says the Lord God, who is and was and who is to come, the Almighty. He's saying that I existed on earth. Yeah. I, 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 who, 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 he's saying who, clear that. Who, who is, who, who was, I always existed, and who is, uh, who is, I am living now, who was, I was dead, and who is to come, I'm now alive. That's what he's saying. He defeated death. He defeated death? So God died? No. His physical body was dead, so what, but his question, soul question, never died. Yeah, the other question uh, that Jesus says, uh, what is it called? He says, uh, only the Father is immortal. Only God is immortal, I think. Is it only God? 
Uh, yeah, well, he, got his he, he said that in but not so many ways, but that's died. true. He's died, right? Yeah, he says that he died. gives eternal life. Only, only, only to the Father we can have eternal life. Yeah. Jesus died. His physical body was de was put to death, and they tried to kill his, his soul. They tried to hold How captive his soul. How was this? When you, when you physical body died, that's dead, Your physical right? body dies. That's died. You're dead. That's dead. What we call dead, right? Yeah. So... Jesus died. If Jesus died, it can't be the, it can't be God, because only God is immortal. That's that's not true, because Jesus died physically. He died for the death of all men, and he ha he was, he was put to death so that he could go How else into the spirit. Hold on a second. But you, oh. when you die, your spirit doesn't die, right? You have to let me finish. I'm getting to when that. You die. Your spirit dies, or your body dies. No, your physical body dies, not your spirit. Can't think that Jesus did. It, exactly. Right? So that's what we call death. How can he be dead if he's still if his soul is still alive? When you when you die, your soul is still alive. Your soul is still alive. Same thing when Jesus died, his soul is still alive. Still alive. His body was dead. His physical body. His, your physical when you die, your physical body is dead. Yes. When Jesus died, his physical body was dead. Yes. And uh, his, his spirit is still alive. He yes. Is still the spirit is alive when you die. Yes. Same thing we define death. Hold on when a second. Your bodies die. Okay. Physical body dies. That's death. I understand. Can, I understand. Say, oh, his physical body died. Oh, he's, he's God alive. because he physically died. You can't say that. That's not what we're saying. It's what he just said. No, I said that he put himself in the same uh, way of humanity. Let me read this to you, okay? Let me try and explain this to you, okay? He, let me explain this to you. We're not going to be much longer, okay? In Hebrews 2.14, listen to what this says. Listen closely, okay? Listen closely. Since therefore the children share in the flesh and blood, he himself likewise partook of the same nature, that through death he might destroy him who has the power of death, that is the devil. Okay? So Jesus Christ was sent to die and then go into the spiritual world and destroy the works of death and destroy the work of the devil in the spiritual realm also. So that's what the death did. The death was to say, okay, look, he appointed every man to die because of the sin that happened in the Garden of Eden, well, right? Thing we know. So well, he, thing hang on, he took on did death Jesus himself die? so he can bring life. Did he die? His physical body. When you die, what is going to die, brother? Your physical body is going to die. Yes, but the that soul lives spirit. on. Oh, your soul lives on. You or Jesus, Jesus or everybody else. Whoever Je dies, his physical body is gonna die. Yes, and then That's Jesus. True, Jesus but you can't said, keep saying. You know what you just said again. What? You said his physical body died. Yes, it did. When you die, what is gonna die? The physical body dies, but, but the soul what we goes into death. the spiritual realm. That's what we call death, right? Yes. So Jesus died. Accept that. Yes, he did. I, he did. I'm telling you, he did. He he died a physical death. Why? When he says only God and is even immortal, if, that tells me only Father is immortal because Father never died. Uh, Father never died. Uh, that, that, that's he right. He had but, all the knowledge. Yes, but he separated himself. He, he, he didn't come in his full strength. He, he didn't got separating himself. Yes. Like, can you, can, can you, like, he, he, I'll give you one example. Yeah. Can you see something? Can, now you see something. Can you unsee it? Well, I'm not God. You're not God. Okay. God, no, there's he, nothing impossible for God, he, says the Bible. But he says, what's impossible God, right? for you is, is not Our, impossible for God. So we can't think this way of what we can do. We have to think of the ways, the impossibilities of God and what God would do through those impossible ways for, that is for us. You see? So what Jesus did, he took all, all the sins in his soul. He took in, uh, all the sins. Yeah. And he took a death upon himself. Yeah. And he was put into the spiritual realm at the place, you know, of sinners, but his prayers and his supplication to God saved him because he had no sin. Okay, yeah. Okay. Sorry, I'm gonna have to meet you again. Are okay. You so where were you at? God bless you. Area? I'm in this area quite often. Sure. Yeah, we can yeah. meet. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, we can meet. Yeah, Absolutely. I'll see you around. Okay. All right. Thank Sounds you. Sounds good, brother. Perfect. God bless you. Yeah, God bless you.
God bless you.